Peace and peace and power, family. Yo, welcome to FOG Boxing Talk Plus. Man, this is your brother born out here in these YouTube boxing streets. Yo, listen, shout out to my FOG refugees. Shout out to the LDBC. I pulled up on Joshua earlier. Now this motherfucker done messing around and wrecked my goddamn car. Yo, I, listen, Joshua done wrecked the goddamn car out here. I told you. Yo, something wrong with Joshua. Something wrong with Joshua. Yo, y'all listen to this, man. Y'all listen to this. Listen to this. I'm going to turn it down, then I'm going to turn it up so y'all can try to hear this, man. Y'all got to hear this. Um, over there, you didn't even want to mention the possibility of fighting Deontay Wilder or Tyson yeah, Fury. Yeah. You said you've got business to do. You handle that business. Those questions aren't going to come now about Deontay Wilder or Tyson Fury. What is the real likelihood of you fighting any of those guys? Y'all yep. heard that? Y'all heard that? He said, Hold up, hold up, hold up. Y'all look at this. Y'all look at y'all listen to this. Y'all listen. He gonna say, Y'all listen. You said you've got business to do. You handle that business. Those questions aren't gonna come now about Deontay Wilder or Tyson Fury. What is the real likelihood of you fighting any of those guys back? This joker said, Yo, this big goofy, yo, what is wrong with this? Yo, that's where his mind was at. I don't want to fight them jokers, man. I'm going to run. I'm going to run. He just said that. He just said he was running. I didn't... Man, listen. Y'all go check this out. This guy sports. Yo. Yo. Yo, he's going crazy. Joshua has gone officially crazy. He has officially lost his mind. L listen, so let's listen to his. Let's listen to the rest of his answer. Let's listen to the rest of his answer. Let's listen. Let's listen. Let's listen to it all the way through. Put me out. You know what I mean? It'll be sick. So I'm all for it. I was in Saudi Arabia for the Andrew Ruiz fight. I'm um, yeah. over there. You didn't even want to mention the possibility of fighting Deontay Wilder or Tyson yeah. Fury. You said you've got business to do. You handle that business. Those questions aren't going to come now about Deontay Wilder or Tyson Fury. What is the real likelihood of you fighting any of those guys? The dudes start laughing. Back in like, the 2020 so or early 2021. We've had meetings, so that same meeting with the uh, Usyk's manager, um, after that we had another meeting potentially to kind of put an offer in place to um, solidify that fight before they've even had their fight and I've even had my next fight, providing we both win. I think for, for a reason, everyone wants Wilder to win because that's the fight everyone wants to see. So um, Wilder's got a big right hand, I've got a great left hand. So it's going to be a matchup of a great boxing match and that's the one that everyone wants to see. So um, we had a meeting about that, it's a great potential. I heard they have a third fight lined up towards the end of the year, but what we have to do is throw a curveball in there. Something that gets Wilder's attention, providing he wins, that he'll think to himself, you know what, even though I do have this rematch clause. Yo, yo, this joke is bugging. This joke is bugging. I told, yo, listen, man. He's delusional. He's delusional. He's delusional, man. Y'all, uh, look. Y'all go check the rest of the sound on Sky Sports. But, he's delusional. And, you know. And then go check it out. Because he told me he, he support Tyson Fury over Deontay Wilder. I... I guess it is a little later in the yo, I crashed when he said that other yo, I crashed here. This is where I crashed. I crashed here. I crashed there rerunning. I crashed on rerunning. I was just I was just out in the street and wrecked the whip just now. You know what I mean? <laughs> So, yo, I'm, I'm, I'm going to check out the rest of this. You know, we could check it out together. Let me see where uh, I'm going to move up. Thanks. All right, final question. Tyson Fury also said that no. before he retires, <laughs> before he retires, yeah, before he retires, <laughs> that he will fight you, he'll fight Wilder, he'll fight Dylan White. Did you believe any of this? That's what I'm talking about. That's, that's the talk I respect. That's boxing talk, straight to the point. 
and that's what I'm about. So um, the doors are open. Firstly, good luck for your fight in February. We're wishing you well. Bring the belts back here. And then imagine having that fight in Tottenham as well. That would be phenomenal. So that's why I'm supporting for you because I think, imagine like the local kids, right? Locally that are down Tottenham or not being able to watch the undisputed championship of the world on their doorstep. They've got to catch a little Uber or a little taxi down the road or ride their pedal bike to the stadium. How unbelievable would that be? So that's why I'd love it to be here in the UK. So um, good luck to him. I'm wishing him well. Man, listen. Yo, y'all go check this mess out. And what the hell? He, look, man, as, as the great BFTB, best fight the best says, don't know if I give up the best out in Twin, Twindorf and, and, and Tweedleham. What are you talking about, man? It'd be great for the kid in Tottenham. You just said the fans. The fans want you versus Wilder. But you want Fury. But you were sending paperwork to Wilder. What the? What are you talking about? See, this is what I say. He double-minded, man. He, yo, him. He hang with. He he been with Eddie too long. They think nobody. I don't. I don't know. What do they think? I don't know what they think. I don't know what they think. I don't know if they think people listen to the video or we just go along with it. But we. This America, Jack. This America, Jack. You just ain't going to tell us any goddamn thing. And since you on our radar out here in these states, because you over here with this the zone nonsense, and this what this seems like. This is the zone ploy right here. This is the zone ploy to get your you know, name all over the place because you know who you know who fighting right now. You know what I mean? You know who got the clout. Y'all know who got the clout, so so y'all clout chasing everybody right now. With that being said, man, comment below, subscribe, you know what it is. Shout out, salute to the FOG Refugee, salute to the LDBC. I'll be back with another one, man. Let me get about these streets.